Hey there, have you ever noticed that reviews from your business or Yelp reviews of your business may get filtered out or go to a section called the not recommended section? Well, if that happened to you before, let's talk about that in this video and some of the things that can be done to reduce some of these issues of getting the reviews filtered out. Before we get started, my name is Leo and I have a digital marketing agency in Solano County. You can definitely check out my YouTube videos or check out my Facebook page or my website www.digitaltrack.co for more information like this one right, related to digital marketing uh, that I give out for free. Or if you have questions and would like to contact me, go ahead and again visit my website www digitaltrack.co for ways to get a hold of me or contact me. All right, let's go ahead and get started. So mostly I work with small businesses, small restaurants and Latino restaurants in the area of Solano County. And one of the reasons why I'm making this video is because I do notice some other friends that have restaurants or cake rest uh, business have mentioned to me before about Leo I noticed that Yelp reviews get filtered out or go to a, or get hidden uh, going to a section called the, uh, that says not recommended so why that happened or what can I do to prevent that so that's kind of what led me to research a little more about that and here's what I found right and, and this is also based on personal experience so Yelp has an algorithm that is used to determine if a review is gonna help or not, and this is supposedly, and this is what they say it, it is done so that it can protect the business right from fake reviews or from um, what's the other word to say for from Ill illegitimate reviews, right? So it, it uses an automated filter based on algorithm, and I don't know what the algorithm uh, looks for. Yelp doesn't provide the whole information about what some of the things that could trigger this algorithm, right? But um, it they say that is to protect businesses, right? So that's basically what causes that uh, some reviews to be filtered out. Uh, so why does Yelp filter your business legitimate reviews? Um, first of all, let's talk a little bit about some stats. I'm not sure if you love or help, hate hate Yelp, but we cannot ignore the popularity of the site. On the first quarter of 2018, just the first quarter, Yelp reported that they have 74 million unique visitors on their website from a desktop device or from a computer device, right? That's not counting mobile device that we know that just keep growing and growing. So it's definitely a very popular site. All right, so why does Yelp filter your business uh, legitimate reviews? So some of the reasons why that could happen or common reasons why that could happen is, um, number one, Yelp doesn't trust the user, right? If that user doesn't have um, reviews or, ha or, or, or have only written few reviews, obviously there's no that trust yet built with, by Yelp, right, with that user or perhaps that Yelp user doesn't have friends. And on Yelp, you can connect to other people and, and, and that's what is called friends. Uh, or perhaps they don't have a lot of information on their profile. So those are uh, the first common reason why uh, Yelp may filter out a review. Another reason is that reviews are always positive, too positive or always too negative. And the thought behind this is, well, how can that person always have two positive reviews or I always have two negative reviews, right? That's a little bit odd for sure um, because every experience cannot be perfect. Another reason why this could happen is because the review perhaps is not funny or useful. So a another user can come and check a review and um, vote if that review is useful funny or cool, I think that's on the other option. So obviously, if uh, a review doesn't provide useful information, like perhaps they just provide four stars and say good service, that doesn't provide any help to anybody. So that could be a reason, right? 
another reason is because that user Yelp that had left a Yelp review may violate uh, Yelp guidelines and policies, right? So for example, uh, put in threatened comments, uh, put in uh, using profanity on their comments or review, right? All that violates their guides, their, their guidelines and in a way also protects the business because you can report or flag that uh, comment or review and Yelp of course will do their, will do their assessment if, it, if, if in fact violates their guidelines it will go ahead and remove it. And other reason why this could happen that the review get filtered out is because Yelp checks the location of a person by the IP address they use. And so if they detect that that person may be in a location far away from the business, that could raise a flag, a red flag to Yelp. And this could happen commonly, especially in situations where somebody was visiting an area, right? And they decided to go to that, to a business. But then let's say they were on vacation, right? So once they go back home, they perhaps will remember about leaving a review, but obviously they're gonna be going, when they go back home, that uh, that business is perhaps, you know, very far away from where they live. So that could be what that could cause a, a, a red flag for Yelp. Now, what is a workaround that we can do to reduce problems with Yelp, right? Yelp from Yelp uh, filtering reviews. So one of the things that we can do is obviously never pay someone to leave us a review for your business, right? It is illegal and, and Yelp obviously will not put up with that. Another thing that we can do is we don't, we should not offer or we must not offer any promotion to Yelpers. That's why they call people that leave, that use Yelp in exchange for a review. So let's not do that. Uh, another thing that we can, that we um, must not, that we should not do is ask our families and friends to leave us a review, right? If they leave us a review out of their own heart, then that's a different situation. And last but not least, we can always educate our customers and clients, right? We can tell them that hey, if we notice a, re a Yelp review gets filtered out, uh, we can reach out to that customer if we know them and tell them, look, looks like Yelp is uh, hiding your reviews. And some of the reasons why it could happen is because Yelp doesn't see, Yelp doesn't see that you, you completed your profile or that you haven't left too many reviews or that you, have, you haven't connected to too many friends. So some of the things you can do to prevent this from happening is obviously connect with other friends, make sure your profile is complete. And if you have any other businesses you would like to leave a review for, go ahead and do so. That way, uh, Yelp will, will trust you as a user. Um, so that little education will help. So this is all the information I wanted to cover today. Hopefully that helps your business in some way, but um, let us know. Let us know if you have any other issues that you, um, or not issues, but it, let us know if you have any other ways that uh, you can, that have helped you. Uh, avoid problems with Yelp and reviews, right? Let us know. Also, uh, if you have any other questions related to this video, let us know in the comment section. If you have any other questions related to digital marketing, let us know as well. It helps me uh, continue to stretch on my industry so that I can help you best or better. Help me help you, all right? And that's it for today. If you again, if you have any questions or resources you would like to check out, um, go ahead and visit my website www.digitaltrack.co. All right, have a good one. Bye.